Last season's 18-7 and record marked the fourth highest winning percentage by a Tri-County team in school history. This season, led by a solid returning core, they are looking to improve on that mark and make it to the state tournament for the first time since 1988. Head coach Corey Jensen started his career at Tri-County with a winless season back in 2013. Since then, the team has been making strides and are hoping to shake things up in Class C2 this season. This is Nathan Ewer with Fairbury Journal News and Fairbury TV, and we're here at the Tri-County Boys Basketball Practice. I'm here with Tri-County Boys Head Basketball Coach Corey Jensen, and we selected them as our area team to watch this season. Coming off their best season in 15 years with 18 wins last year, you're returning Cole Seams, you're returning Creighton Niemeyer. What is your expectations for your team heading into this season? Well, um, obviously we have pretty high expectations after having the fourth best uh, win percentage in school history last year. We return all four guys. We lose a really good point guard, Riley Knuss, but you know all those guys are a year older. Creighton Niemeyer's in his senior year. Evan Larson is in his senior year. Chad Niemeyer, all those guys have started a lot of games. Um, Cole Sims is a year older. He's a sophomore. He'll be our point guard. Um, we talked at the beginning of the year, and we have some high expectations. Um, you know, they laid, they laid out there, they want to get to state. Okay, got to get to state. Now, for those who don't know, you moved back to Class C2 after being D1 for a few years. Now, now with that in consideration, I mean, how are you going to handle that and your competition, and what are you looking at for them to do moving forward, considering that you're going to have a little bit of a tougher schedule at C2? You know, whatever class we're in, it doesn't really matter. Whether it's C2 or D1, our schedule basically stays the same. The only thing that changes is sub-districts. Um, and with that new format, I mean, you really don't even have to win districts this year. So um, it doesn't really change much for us. Um, yeah, you got some bigger teams you're going to play, but these guys are capable. Okay. And uh, there's going to be, you got a lot of fun failures to watch, a lot of high scoring team. What's the, I mean, what, what's going to be your team identity for this season, considering you got Cole Sames, scored 47 points last year, Creighton Niemeyer, he's a double double waiting to happen. So, uh, what's your expectations for your team? Well, we're really just focusing on transition, get out and run, play as fast as we can. We want a lot of possessions in our games, um, and we're going to shoot a lot of threes. Okay, sounds good. And uh, so your goal is to make the state tournament. And uh, do you remember the last time you guys did make that state tournament? 1988. 1988. 1988. Okay. And got. So do you think this team has potential that you could? I mean, in the locker room, are they believing that they could even win this this whole thing? Yeah, and we've. I mean, we've had a lot of good leaders in the past. Um, they've created a pretty good culture, and they, they got. As long as they're believing, they can do a lot of things. Um, we played probably 20 and 25 games this summer against really good competition. They're capable. Okay. Now, you, everybody knows Creighton Niemeyer, maybe Cole Seams. Um, and uh, who else could it do to look out for this season that maybe that wasn't wasn't maybe on the radar last year but will contribute in a big way this year? You know, we have a lot of guys. We have probably eight or nine that can play at the varsity level. Um, honestly, you could you could pick out one of four players that could be our best player each night. Um, Evan, who are they? Evan Larson is a stud. I mean, he can make plays on defensive end, offensive end. He can heat up in a hurry. Um, he's probably our best three-point shooter. Um, Chad Neymar, our big man down low, he, he can really do some things for us. Okay, sounds good. Thank you very much. Ray's Apple Market in February, your hometown grocery store. All right, I'm here with Cole Seams. He's a sophomore, and last year set school record, 47 points in one game. I want to start asking with, I mean, how, how can you top that going to your sophomore year? Um, I could I could top it with more um, uh, doing it against a, um, more consistently I raise my uh, points per game but also raise the assists and rebounds try to get better in everything okay clearly basketball is your sport what did, what did you do in the off season or what what, what are your expectations heading uh, this season and and you guys think maybe you know state tournaments the goal heading heading into this year definitely state tournament is our goal and hopefully to get far into the state tournament okay now I know your coach said that you have four scores that can be a leader in any, in any game, you guys, Chad, Evan. So who, I mean, are you going into each game thinking maybe I need to pace this team and score and lead this team offensively and get it going? No, I'm, uh, I'm now that uh, uh, Riley's gone, I'm more of the point guard. I'm going to focus on feeding the, fo feeding the hot hand more. Feeding the hot hand, okay. Now Creighton. Um, Coming off a great cross country season, and uh, so certainly in shape for for basketball. But uh, now I guess you're a leading rebounder. You're leading in many areas for this team last year, right behind Cole here in scoring. What do you see as your role this year, and what do you think the expectations are for this team? 
just keep that team positive positivity up. Uh, a lot of times, if you're not having a good game, your head can get down. I just want to be that guy that keeps their head up and uh, keep them going. Yeah. Now, kind of coach's talk is you got to play as a team. All five need to contribute. Yeah. Now, what, what's the chemistry like on this team? And how, after having the 18 wins, the best year in at least 15 years, I mean, what, what's the chemistry like on this team right now? I love it. Uh, I, right after our fall sports got done, every guy, everybody here in this gym was, we had open gym. Everybody showed up. We all loved it. We were hooping and hollering, and giving high fives, pointing at each other. We loved it. Okay. So you moved up to Class C, too. Now, is that affecting confidence level any, or what, what are your thoughts on that move? Uh, no. Uh, we actually got a group Snapchat, and a guy that graduated Riley, uh, last year, Riley Canust, he sent a, a picture of the top 10 C2 schools, and we weren't in there, so it kind of gave us some motivation. We're, we're hungry. We're uh, ready to get in there and get some wins. Awesome.